Working with Email, Part 2. Now that we've added a workspace with all the email views in Part 1, let's look at how to use those views to handle email interactions in Interaction Desktop. In Part 2, I'll show you how to properly receive and pick up an ACD email on your queue. Also, how to perform an ad hoc recording of that email. In addition, I'll show you how to reply to an email or forward it to another user. Finally, I'll show you how to properly disconnect an email when finished working with it. Here I have Interaction Desktop up and running, and I'll change my status to Available. Right away you see that there's an email alerting on my queue. I can either click Pick Up, or I can click on the email and click Pick Up in the button bar. Once I've picked up the email, it appears in the left-hand pane in the Email Editor. There I can reply, reply all, or forward the email to somebody else. In this case, I'm going to reply to the email. Once I've typed my reply, I can click send to send it, discard if I change my mind. I could add an attachment. I can also check the names and email addresses in the two CC and BCC lines if I need to. It's all ready to go, so I'll click Send. And you'll see the spell checker pop up. If you're confident there aren't any spelling errors, you can click Cancel just to send it. Or you can use the spell checker to verify that everything is spelled correctly. In this case, I know that the confirmation number is fine, so I'll click Ignore. I don't need to worry about the email addresses or anything else in here, so I'm going to click Cancel. And I have sent the response to that email. You'll notice that the original email is still connected in my inbox. So I need to go down to the button bar and click Discard in order to disconnect that email. Once I do that, you'll see that I immediately have another email alerting on my queue. So I click Pick Up. And after clicking Pickup, I need to select it in the list of emails in my email list. I'll click Reply to reply to the message. And note that the Record button comes ungrayed as soon as I click Reply. I can click the Record button to record my email reply. I also have a Pause button if I want to pause the recording. And I can stop recording by clicking the Record button again. In this case, just as I start my reply, I realize that this is for the International Travel Group. So I'm going to discard this email, click on that email again in my email list, and now I'm going to forward it on to another work group. So I'll click the Forward button, and I can send it on to Travel Services International Travel. Once again, I could either attach or check the names, or just send it. I'll cancel here in the spell checker, and send it anyway. Now that I've forwarded the response, I need to go back up into my email list and discard the original email. That way I'll be available to receive another email on my queue. No other emails are coming in, so I'm going to go to lunch.